My name is Sarah Hamilton. I work as an investigative journalist for the newspaper Fact and Fancy, always in search of the next big story. Unfortunately, my current research into an illegal phone hacking scandal hit a dead end. That's why my boss, James Billings, sent me to Neuschwanstein. Apparently, there's something not right with the refurbishment. Reason enough for me to get into my car and drive there immediately. I should be there by dusk. Sarah, one of our most important sponsors has reported unusual procedures during the renovation works at Neuschwanstein Castle. I know you are currently working on something else, but I can sense a big story here. Go there straight away and find out what is going on. Good luck, Billings. Billings sent me to Neuschwanstein. The building is supposedly under reconstruction. But one of Billings' sources reported some very unusual incidents. He wants me to investigate them. Maybe I could interview the castle's Castellan about it. I've heard she's something like a local celebrity. A late visitor. What a surprise. You must be Miss Hamilton. Mr. Billings has already announced your arrival. Welcome to Nerzranstein. My name is Beatrix von Lohen, the Castellan. It's a pleasure. Can you recommend a local hotel? A hotel? No, my dear. Let me suggest something else. We have rooms here in the castle which are used by the tour guides from time to time. They are all empty at the moment, thanks to the unattractive but unavoidable renovation work. Do you mean I can stay here in the castle? That would be fantastic. Your enthusiasm is so refreshing. But before we all get too excited, I have to call my supervisor and clarify this. Oh. In that makeup drawer over there, you'll find all the information we provide to regular tourists. Make yourself comfortable. I'll be back in an instant. Fifth of June, 1868. Workers in the ruins of Burg Hohenschwangau have discovered strange marks during their excavations. We had them shown to us and ordered the whole hill to be temporarily closed. They seem to be indications of a secret society that was broken up a very long time ago.
My dear, I have excellent news. There is nothing standing in the way of your stay in the castle anymore. But unfortunately, the chamber is only free for one week. After that, the tour guides will return to the castle. I don't know how to thank you, and one week is sufficient. I was hoping you might say that. If you wish, you can take a look around outside while your room is being prepared. You might even run into our beloved professor. A professor? Haven't you noticed the black monster of a vehicle blocking the view of our magnificent castle's facade? That is the home of Professor Dr. Wolfgang Adler, scientist and historian. Interesting. And what does the professor do here? If you ask me, he's wasting his time on fruitless investigations. But it's better if you speak to the good man yourself. He should be back from his dinner over at the pub any time. I might just do that. So, my dear, I will retire to my chambers and wish you a pleasant night's rest. Do let me know if there's anything you need. I'll do the best I can if you need anything. After all, we'd like you to write a great story about our castle, wouldn't we? Well, of course. Thanks again. And good night. Hey, a new face, and such a pleasant one, if you don't mind me saying so. My name is Wolfgang Adler. It's a pleasure to meet you. Ah, I've already heard of you, Professor. Sarah Hamilton, journalist, on behalf of Fact and Fancy. I'm currently working on a story about the castle, but can a historian discover anything new here? Fact and Fancy? Somebody from the press? Unfortunately, I'm working on rather mundane topics at the moment. I fear I've locked myself out of my trailer, and I am now a homeless academic. Poor old fellow I am. Well, as you know, us journalists sometimes have to resort to exceptional and controversial measures. Maybe I should take a look at the door lock. like that. Lady, I'm not sure whether I should be appalled or impressed, but where on earth did you learn such abilities? I owe you my gratitude and stand in your debt. Is there anything I can do for you? Why don't you just tell me about your investigations? I'd like nothing more than that. I've been devoting myself for months now to possibly the greatest challenge in historical criminology, the death of fairy tale King Ludwig II. So you're not only a historian, but also a criminologist. In all modesty, I can claim that I've established a reputation in both disciplines. And this investigation should become the crowning glory of my career. I'm going to solve the mystery of the king. And as we've just seen, I can probably be of use to you here. Maybe we can solve the mysteries of Neuschwanstein together. I would appreciate your company, and your abilities would be very useful without a doubt. I've uploaded a few notes on your tablet. 
You should take a look at them. Castle Neuschwanstein. Facts. Foundation, 1869. Built on the ruins of two medieval castles. For the Hohenschwangau and Hinterhauenschwangau, near the town of Fussen, South Bavaria. The construction was initiated and financed by Ludwig II, King of Bavaria. Never completely finished, because Ludwig was deposed in 1886, then probably killed. Maintained by the Bavarian Department of State-owned palaces, gardens and lakes. Ludwig II, Otto Frederick Wilhelm, 1845 to 1886, King of Bavaria, 1864 to 1886, son of Crown Prince Maximilian and Crown Princess Marie. Ludwig built several fantastic castles, such as Neuschwanstein, Helm Kimsey, and Linderhof, which later brought him the nickname the Fairy Tale King. The reclusive king piled up a huge amount of debt to finance his construction projects. That is one reason why he was deposed by his own government in the end, by declaring him insane. In 1886, Ludwig died in mysterious circumstances, after apparently drowning in Lake Starnberg. It's over. This trip was more than I bargained for. All I need now is to get some sleep and recover from all this runaround. But let's meet here tomorrow and get a closer look at that construction site. There's more to do. Good night, Professor. Call me Wolfgang. Good night. Aha, the reporter, the writer, on the search for the truth. Then listen carefully. And remember the words I am about to say. You know me? Incredible. And who are you? Oh, they are talking about you in and around the castle. They say an inquisitive guest has arrived. I am merely a simple Benedictine brother. I keep the secrets and reveal the hidden. They say there are restoration and renovation works going on. I say they are destroying and demolishing. Good man, you're speaking in riddles. Open your eyes, writer. Look at the tools, the equipment. Count the rocks. The workers enter the mountain and create mountains. Mountains full of rubble and debris. And what is the stone mill for that grinds up everything? Sacrilege. It's a crime. Stone mill? Are you talking about the big shredder on the building site? Look at the small things, writer and you will find the big picture. Look at the small things. I must go. May God be with you. Good morning, Sarah. I see that you have already made contact with our strange monk. What did he want? He seems to be suspicious of the ongoing works on the building site, and he's not wrong there. Why is there so much rubble and rock lying around? You could conclude that the castle is being torn down. Indeed, this is rather unusual. We really need to collect some rock samples and investigate the Shredder. You should talk to Beatrix before running around on the building site without permission. Well, fair enough. <laughs> Yesterday I got acquainted with the renowned criminologist Professor Adler. He seemed to be a bit confused, but nevertheless very capable. We agreed to investigate the castle together. After all, he is a well-respected expert on Neuschwanstein. The castle's castellan, Beatrix, provided me with a room inside the castle. <laughs> <laughs>